right guys here on a brand new body of water basically gonna do kind of about the same thing we've been doing look for hard surfaces utilize my electronics got the uh, for some reason it's not showing me the right temperature I don't know why so I gotta figure that out um, but I know it's warmer than what it's saying it is because it's a power plant lake so overall overall let's go up here I think the fishing is gonna be a little bit different Given that this is a power plant lake, I think it's got some different conditions than you normally see in the winter. So, might be fishing some grass today, uh, and hopefully the wood and the hard structure will, and, and hard cover will, will play more than it has. You know, I gotta navigate some treacherous waters here. It's pretty low. I basically, just shut my boat down just a second ago, and when I kicked it up, bam, the motor was right on a stump. So, just uh, just part of owning a boat, part of going through this process. You gotta learn learn how to do it. Fishing jig, will you fish something different? Yeah. Fish this. Okay. You just don't want to catch anything. No, I want you to help me pattern these fish. I need a different <laughs> perspective. Yeah, I found some. Drop it in the holes, let it drop. Watch for it to pop. Cool. Alrighty, y'all, that's honey, uh, honey one, me zero. But I told her what to use. some kind of little if you want it to be a canopy and there be some room underneath it. I knew you'd be in now. <laughs> That's what we came for right there, boys and girls. I thought I got a bite just a second ago. Woo! Texas bassin, flipping, flipping grass in first of January, basically. Who does this? <laughs> Anytime I'm fishing a missile baits D bomb, I'm I'm pretty happy. See if I can get another one out of that one. Just need to hurry up and get back in there. This is there. There could be, could be more. I mean, I don't know why you'd ever take them out of your pocket. See that? <sighs> Shit, that's a big perfect. You had it, I didn't know that. You may get to that? Huh? Woo! Woo! -hoo! That what? Oh Lord of mercy! <laughs> Woo! We coming to Texas for hogs, baby! Hogs! Piggins! Piggins! Woo! That just dropped out of there. Guys, missile baits. D-bomb. Right there. Dang. Proof's in the pudding. Guys, <laughs> video don't lie. I about shook that one off, did everything I could to shake that one off. It's actually kind of embarrassing. <laughs> you know, but as always, I show you everything on my channel. Even the things that I'm a little embarrassed by but man, did I almost shake that fish off. I definitely couldn't tell, but sheesh. I couldn't tell because I, I was kind of pulling straight a little bit there and it felt like it was getting hung up in the, the weeds, but sure enough, big fish. Rock, it's getting right? crowded in there. That one gave me every opportunity to shake it off too. <laughs> That's what's bad. <laughs> one of those, is that a fish? Is that a fish? I don't know. Is that a fish? Maybe I should set the hook. I don't know. No, nah, let's just dangle it there for a little bit. I don't know. Eat 
<laughs> yeah, boy. There we go, guys. Another one for the boat. We're gonna have a pretty good picture today. Pretty good picture. Sure wish that old Lake Fork guy was fishing with me. How about now? <laughs> he might be wishing he was fishing with you. That drag squealing. Whew. I need to make that into a ringtone. If I get that as a ringtone, anybody knows that that's a ringtone out there, let me know. Day of the day. Slider? Yeah. No, I got some ham though. Look <laughs> at you. Hurt a little over the day. Now I'll have to go back to my wife. Getting on them, boys! Yeah! Sometimes, sometimes it's about the weight drop, too. You gotta have that right weight to get through the stuff, and then once you, once you do, it's all about making that continuous repetition. Woo! The head off that uh, missile base there, trying to get it, but real quick about the combo, that's the uh, TP-1 Black. You know, I've gotten a lot of questions about this rod over the year. And it's not something that I've spent a lot of time with until this trip. You know, I'm using a lot down here in Texas uh, for Carolina rigging. Got 50 pound Strike King line on there. It's the brand new Strike King fishing line. It'll be hitting stores pretty soon, so check that out. It's doing fantastic on the reel. Got a TP1 black pair with a hyper mag. Whoa, good stuff. Just a light fleece. a missile base d-bomb kind of day that was second flip in we took a little break a little ham rigged my mom up a nice uh, stronger stiffer weight i tell you you got to have that weight guys sometimes it's what makes a difference you know is when i was up on champlain that was one of the things that i learned day two from my boater joe wood <laughs> was that uh you know we went to a spot and he was using utilizing a heavier weight than I was, 3 8 ounce, which is what I had my mom do it. She wasn't catching nothing. It's uh, not too shabby for the uh, for a lake I've never been on in my life. But you know what? You pick up these little things here and there from going to different tournament competitions and everything. I saw this matted grass over here that had reached its, you know, it's there's a lot of grass around us, but there's a couple places to where it's reached. It's winter time. I did the same thing down in Florida. What well, I went down there, fished with Chad Hoover and Fluke Master and one of their things, and you know what? I caught my PB, but that was because I focused in on things that other people weren't trying to do, and I did really well. Got my whole money back for the trip, about fifteen hundred dollars. Not too bad of a of a deal. Focus on that grass that's kind of topped out a little bit in uh, in those winter cold months, because that's where the heat's collecting. Actually, one thing I haven't talked about that I did was pretty much immediately when we got into the shallow grass, I turned off both my electronics. I don't need the electronics pinging all over the place. It's hard enough keeping my position in this wind with the with the trolling motor. And I think just with the amount of pressure that these fish are getting, every little thing that I'm doing is, is helping me have a good day right now. <laughs> I 
stuck that fish. Look at him Ooh. trembling. I know, he's trembling. I've never seen a fish do that. None neither. Weird. Not like that. I mean, I've seen him flop. He's trembling. A cold you fish. Scared him to death. Scared him half to death. It's all right, little buddy. Give you a little ear scratch. Scratch your little ears, pinch your little nose. Woo, number five. This one needs more weight. Needs more weight. But we got five. Ugh. I'm going to have to give it up to Ben Milliken and uh, Billy Lawson over there, Lake Fork guy. They, I seen them catch a fish over here. I mean, they saw me catch fish. But then I was like, I'm going to come back to this spot once they leave it. And they left it. All right, I normally don't keep fishing my live well unless it's a tournament. I just hate doing that to the game fish. Got on a pretty good bite today and just kind of wanted to get a hero pick because everybody gets those. And let's uh, let's get them on the scale real fast, see how much they weigh. Nineteen pounds, right there. Woo! All right, let's get them. Got them. All right, guys, right there. Nineteen pounds on a. Uh, Lake I've never been to in my life, but you come out here, you build on your experiences, and you become a better angler. You get to where things you see and you adapt. And you know, that's what I've always been about on my channel and enjoying uh, join the process. And that's what owning this boat, owning this Skeeter has allowed me to do, to go to Okeechobee, Champlain, Thousand Islands, to go to all these places, get that experience. To make me the angler that I want to be. So, you know, if you want to start co-angling, you want to get your own boat, that's the reason behind it. That's the reason behind these. You know, you buy a fancy boat like this and you see all those haters come out all of a sudden. All of a sudden it's you're spending too much money. You know, oh, you shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have financed it. You shouldn't have, you know what? Do you and do what you want to do. Get your own 19 pound days. So all right, guys, that's it for this video. As always, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Don't back up. Don't back down. Y'all have a good one. My mama thinks I'm awesome. That's right, I think.